Hi everybody, I'm Sander and I believe in technology. I really like when someone takes on a product that many consider complete and enhances it with technology. Ember has done just that. Let's take a closer look at their marks from the future. We've all been in a situation where we drink tea or coffee that is too hot so we burn our lips or tongue. Or vice versa, we miss the time that it was at the right temperature and then we have to drink it too cold or warm it up again. The problem with ceramic mugs today is that you have to wait for a while for the drink to cool down and then drink it quickly in order to have it at the right temperature and not drink it cold. And same applies to travel mugs where it takes even hours to cool down the drink and it doesn't keep it at the right temperature so you again have to drink it quite quickly. And there's other occasions when you're brewing a tea or coffee at the too high of a temperature so you lose the taste or nutrients that it was initially good for. This is exactly what Ember promises, to cool down your drink quickly and keep it warm as long as possible. Eight years in the making, last year Ember released their first travel mug created by the Ammunition Design Group for $149. It looked like a normal traditional travel mug but just really expensive. And this year they released a ceramic mug for $79. It is not exactly a new idea. In 2007 Tech Tools released a travel mug that was heated so you can warm it up and also keep it warm for a longer period of time. The challenge was that they had to be plugged in. So what is the trick or what is Ember doing differently? Ember's got a specific liquid built into the mug walls and also a battery underneath to control the temperature electronically. So when you pour a hot drink into the mug, it will charge up the liquid within the walls and then use the battery to adjust it according to your taste in order to cool it down or keep it warm for a longer period of time. The temperature can be adjusted between 120 to 145 Fahrenheit or 49 to 63 degrees Celsius. And you can adjust the temperature using the dial at the bottom of the travel mug or an app for iOS and Android devices to do it remotely for the travel mug. And it's also the only case and only option to change the temperature for the ceramic mug. When taking a look at the travel mug itself, it doesn't seem to be having much tech in it. There's no buttons, no screen, but actually it's hiding quite a bit. You can hold down the Ember logo to turn on and off the device. You can tap on it to see the temperature, the battery life, and also you can personalize it with your own name to greet when you start it up on the screen that you can see at the bottom. You can also use the rotating dial underneath to adjust the temperature on the travel mug itself. Underneath the travel mug, you have the connectors that you have to always keep clean as well as dry when you put it on the charging base to charge up the battery. When looking at the Ember ceramic mug, this one doesn't have a screen at all. It just seems a solid mug with just a small LED light on top of it. There's no buttons apart from the one underneath which allows you to turn it on and off, but nothing else. As you said, there's a LED light showing when it's cooling down or warming up or when the battery is low when it turns red. The temperature can only be adjusted remotely in the app. You also have the connectors underneath, similarly to the Ember travel mug, that have to be kept clean and dry when you're uh, charging up the mug. Both of those mugs also offer a Bluetooth connectivity to your iOS or Android device. So you can remotely adjust the temperature. It also works on Apple Watch. You can choose presets for different drinks for recommendations for coffee, tea or other hot drinks that you enjoy. You also get notifications when the temperature is ideal and you can also personalize the travel mug with a name and the ceramic mug with the LED light color. And you can also update your mug. Yes, your mug now also needs an update every now and then. And now let's get into the real life test. Ember on their website promises that it will cool down the drink quicker than it would do in a paper cup and keep it warm for longer than it would stay in a traditional travel mug. But I rarely believe what people say on the website, so I done did my own test to share the results with you as well to see if it's true. So I've used the traditional ceramic mug compared against the Ember ceramic mug and used the traditional travel mug that's a vacuum insulated clean canteen travel mug and compared it against the Ember travel mug. Let's see how they compared. I poured in hot water at 160 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 71 degrees Celsius to all of the different mugs and then kept measuring about every five minutes with this infrared sensor as well as this metal sensor for the three hour period of time. After the first five minutes the traditional ceramic mug had cooled down quickest at 137 degrees 
Ember Ceramic Mug and Ember Travel Mug were very close at 142 degrees. The traditional travel mug was way too hot at 153 and hadn't cooled down as much. After 10 minutes, the traditional ceramic mug was already cooler than our anticipated temperature of 132 degrees Fahrenheit or 55 degrees Celsius. After 15 minutes, the Ember ceramic mug had reached its perfect temperature at 132 Fahrenheit and the Ember travel mug was starting to slow down to cool. It was 137 degrees and it took another 10 minutes to cool down to the perfect 132 degree Fahrenheit temperature. At the same time, in that half an hour, the traditional travel mug was still keeping it very hot at about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, after an hour and a half, Ember ceramic mug battery exhausted and it started to cool down from the 132 degree Fahrenheit. The Ember travel mug was still keeping it warm throughout, while the traditional ceramic mug was way too cool at 85 degrees reaching room temperature and the traditional travel mug still keeping it too warm to drink at 142 degree Fahrenheit. Finally, after two hours, the Ember travel mug battery also exhausted. It was showing 10% or less, so it was not keeping it warm anymore, and it started to cool. After an hour, it still kept it at 122 degrees, which is okay to drink a little bit too cool, but still warm enough. At that time, also the traditional travel mug was reaching the temperature, and the Ember ceramic mug was too cool at 105, and not to even talk about the traditional ceramic mug, which was then at the room temperature. So to conclude, Ember does not really cool down your drink quicker than a paper cup or a traditional mug. It doesn't even keep it as warm for as long as a traditional travel mug. But on the other hand, it does something that is much more important than either of these, to keep it at the right temperature for as long as possible, which makes it much more usable in everyday scenario for both use cases. While it might be strange to connect your mug to adjust its temperature or update the software, I truly think it makes every day better and is the future. Yes, the price is high, but that's the case for almost all new technologies coming out to the market. The fact is that Ember delivers on its promise to keep your drink at the right temperature for a long period of time and does it in a very aesthetically pleasing way. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know in the questionnaire what do you think of Ember Mug and also leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel to see future videos and I hope to see you next time.